My name is Mark Hertzberg. I'm a professor of clinical haematology at the Prince of Wales Hospital and University of New South Wales in Sydney. My role is to treat patients with blood cancers such as leukaemia, lymphoma and myeloma and I'm involved in clinical trials for patients with these disorders. The ALLG is the Australasian Leukaemia Lymphoma Group. This is the premier cooperative trials group that conducts clinical trials in Australia and New Zealand among patients with blood cancer, in particular lymphoma, leukaemia and myeloma. My role is, a, is as a clinical investigator. Previously, I was the chair of the scientific advisory committee of the ALLG, which oversees the conduct of clinical trials across Australia for patients with blood cancer. Lymphoma is the fifth and sixth most common cancer among Australian men and women. Hodgkin lymphoma is around 12% of all lymphomas, so about one in eight patients. It usually presents in two groups of patients, younger patients in their 20s, 30s and 40s, and older patients in their 60s and 70s. Symptoms are very variable for patients with Hodgkin lymphoma. They can present with merely a mass or a lump in the neck or under the arm, or sometimes with chest discomfort, a cough, sometimes with night sweats or fevers, sometimes with abdominal discomfort, and sometimes with swelling of the legs. Treatment usually consists of chemotherapy, but sometimes it's also treated with radiation therapy. Chemotherapy is given as an outpatient, and patients can usually work while they're receiving their chemotherapy. Approximately 800 patients in Australia would be diagnosed every year with Hodgkin lymphoma. Around 40% of those would have advanced stage disease. The diagnosis is usually made with a lymph node biopsy that might be arranged through a radiologist and a CT guided biopsy, or sometimes a lymph node is excised by a surgeon. Other investigations that are key relate to the staging of the disease, and staging is very important. For staging, we use imaging such as PET scans and CT scans, and we also rely upon blood tests as a means of determining whether patients have advanced disease or intermediate or early stage disease. Advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma is treated with combination chemotherapy. It's delivered as an outpatient in the vast majority of patients where they come for a brief period and then go home. There are two major regimens used around the world to treat Hodgkin lymphoma, again consisting of multi-agent chemotherapy delivered as an outpatient. The two major regimens used around the world are ABVD and escalated BACOP. These are intensive regimens designed to achieve a complete remission and hopefully long-term disease-free survival and cure. A clinical trial in advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma was started in July 2016 and was completed in August 2020. It involved nine cooperative groups in nine different countries and 1,500 patients were accrued altogether. The ALLG was fortunate to be involved in this clinical trial and contributed 115 patients across 16 sites in Australia as well as Auckland, New Zealand. We were privileged enough to be involved in such a groundbreaking clinical trial. It involved the use of a standard regimen called escalated BCOP, which has enabled us to tailor therapy for patients, reduce the toxicity and the duration of therapy in the vast majority of patients. This regimen was compared with a novel regimen, a modified escalated BCOP that incorporated a new drug called brentuximab vidotin. The aim of the study was to improve the risk-benefit ratio and to reduce the toxicity and side effects associated with combination chemotherapy. It was also designed to be at least as efficacious and hopefully more so. The trial achieved its objectives. That is, reduced toxicity was achieved 
in the vast majority of patients, and there was almost no treatment-related mortality. In particular, patients experienced less anemia and thrombocytopenia, that is low platelet counts, and in turn needed fewer transfusions with red cells and platelets. Other toxicities that were substantially reduced were peripheral neuropathy, which is discomfort or loss of sensation in the, in the legs and feet, and this was substantially reduced with this modified BRCAD regimen. In addition, and most importantly, gonadal toxicity was substantially minimised. That is, fertility is almost certainly preserved in males and females treated with this regimen. And this represents a substantial improvement for the vast majority of young patients. Most encouraging, of course, was the actual results of the survival of patients because the vast majority of patients, around 95%, remained free of disease in remission after three years. These are the best results we've ever seen in advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma, not only because of the results of the reduction in toxicity, but also in terms of reducing the risk of recurrence and relapse down the track. One of the other meaningful advantages in patients treated with both BACOP escalated and BRCAD is the substantial reduction in the duration of treatment. More than 60% of patients only needed 12 weeks of treatment. And that's about half that of the other standard regimen called ABVD that is frequently used in patients with advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma. So patients complete their treatment much quicker, they can get back to their normal life and their normal work in a much quicker time than might otherwise be the case.